Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Bill. Uh, this video is going to be the Morkborg uh, campaign update. This is the final update to the that specific adventure we were in. So, excuse me, that, uh, that dungeon we were exploring uh, has gotten concluded with the end of this uh, recap. So I will be reading most of this from what I've written out. So it, if it gets boring, so, uh, I want to apologize ahead of time for that. Otherwise, uh, I will attempt to make this as entertaining as most of my videos are, where I'm talking directly to you and not looking down as much unless I need to read text or whatnot. But uh, where we last left off, we were sitting in the room uh, where the guy that was forging stuff fought us more or less what what we were interpreting as the boss. Um and I had set room to had set fire to the room that had all the junk in it that was next door, the room we hadn't went through yet that also had a door to, for us to go through. So we wait for that to burn itself out, which takes at least an hour. After that we gather the uh gather ourselves, go through it, we enter a room that has a statue. That's a pretty big statue. Opposite the door we came through is a metal door that's, one of the doors is leaning slightly, like it's no longer on the uh, hinges. Uh, with that description, we pretty much know where we are. That's the doors we block with a bunch of pitons and whatnot. So, from there, we, uh, play around with the statue, try to get the statue to do something, see if the statue will reveal anything, so on and so forth. We have no luck with it, but we end up killing a good half an hour or so <laughs> messing with that statue. We go back, we go around the dungeon into the only area we haven't went through. Without having a map of the dungeon, we had a hard time figuring out if there was an area we hadn't went to, but the game master clarified uh, quickly that there, yes, yes, there was an area we hadn't went through. We had heard the description and pretty much ignored it the first time through. So we head to that location. At that location, it is kind of like a uh, hole you got to crawl through. And if you have heavy armor, you're not going to fit. So, and as far as I know, none of us have heavy armor. So we crawl through the, uh, the hole. We come out into this kind of foresty uh, area or... Um, Kind of like a green room area except like on a grand scale we find a campsite with some women camping around there they offer us some uh drink and i think they offered food but i don't remember that for sure but i know they offered us tea and then everyone's looking at me to determine if the tea's poisonous or not uh and then i roll a one so that adds a lot of fun to it so I'm like, ah, no, it's fine. I drink the tea. And uh, my eyes go big, like I'm high as hell. And I heal. But now I'm I'm trying to fight, fight being all trippy if I'm going to do anything else. The character that wanted to see if I would say it's safe said it was safe, and he drank it too. So he healed some hit points, and then he, he's in the same situation. The other two characters, the... Cowardly Barbarian and the Princess, uh, they both uh, decide to wait and see. And then the women attack us. So in that process, I remember defending myself. I don't remember attacking very well, but I might have. But the second character that drank the tea went down quickly from the being attacked. And then the Princess and the Barbarian end up defeating the uh, attackers pretty well. Well, to rescue the character that is laying there dying of our party, we give him some more tea. So after all that recovery, We search around and we eventually find the prince. He's in a room and he's eating lots of pieces of um, 
long pig, to put it uh, gently. We, the barbarian goes in, okay, yep, you're coming with us, and ties him up and carries him off. And we're like, yep, we're not giving him a choice. He's coming with us. We throw him on a horse or a mule, I don't remember which, and we drag him back to town. And that is the last thing that happened in the dungeon. We were supposed to get paid. I don't remember if that happened at the end of the game or not. The relevance of that's minor in comparison to something else that's going on. Uh, that game we rolled and one of the Psalms is coming true. Unbeknownst to us, the characters, uh, the Psalm that has come to pass Everyone that is under seven, that is seven years old, seven months, seven days under that is turning into flesh eating undead. This is my player idea is uh, zombies, ghouls, etc. That's going to be terrifying to enter any town or to see a town after that devastation. Because even if those things are killed, think of all the anguish that the town had went through. So that is going to be a very interesting point to take up on Morkborg next time we play. Well, for all the playing we did, I think we covered like two or three hours. My notes don't cover as much because there was a lot of uh, us just um, playing around and trying to see what happened. So, well, until we all game again.